There's a kind of tech element in the natural fibres, which I thought was a nice thing um, to, for, for me to experiment, because usually it's just a tech fabric, and I really was thinking about how nature and tech uh, kind of complement each other. This season there's a lot of fabric treatment in terms of so like on the linen we've got um, like a real kind of high sheen sort of wax polish on it. Um, there's a lot of the sort of bonded cottons this season which are really quite papery and that we've washed and really scrunched up. So yeah there's a lot of that thing where you know um, a lot of just like really light cotton shirtings have been have been coated in rubber um, and a lot of the embroideries are based on kind of faux leather um, cutout, laser cutouts and things like that. Um, and yeah, I mean it is, it's just a lot of like nature versus tech. I mean we looked at the space primarily for the scale because um, we really wanted to have something that you know, people walked into and kind of were sort of taken aback by the scale of, I guess, our set, the, the scale of like it in that place. And, and just I think that contrast of, again, tech, which is all concrete, pillars, clean, versus that cutaway section, which is really raw and beautiful and, like, you know, the whole nature thing kind of in a really clean element is something I really love. I mean, I think, I mean, a lot of the embroidery was done probably first just because we need to submit it uh, like weeks before and to get it completed on time. Um, but there was a lot of this kind of um, goth glam stuff that happened first because it was <coughs> It was sort of a continuation from last season and kind of an extension to it. And so that happened first only because the fabrics were there first. And so I was like, let's just roll with what is available and then be led by what fabrics kind of arrive on time. A little bit. I mean, I kind of like that there's a story, like, and there's a thread kind of going through um, each collection, which means that, you know, you can pull pieces back from previous collections and wear them back with things from a current season so it's not so that was last season that you know this is <clears throat> now whatever it's more like you're creating a wardrobe of pieces that work together so i think it just happens that a lot of them look very similar um but i think it's, it's interesting once, like, you know, you try like one dress on one girl and you just go, it just doesn't suit her. No matter what, even though she's got the same body, the same colorings, the same sort of features, um, it is a lot about the natural sort of personality that kind of comes through in how they wear it. And so the same outfit just sometimes doesn't work on the same girl. Um, I mean, every, it's interesting that every, every look so far is quite, um, quite, it's almost being customised to the personality of the girl that we're showing like, the look on. And so, you know, we just had Eliza in and we put her in something really quite dark and a bit more sinister. Um, in, She's walked, I think, the last three shows for us, and in each of those three shows, she's been in something really pretty and feminine. Um, so it was kind of nice to see a bit more of a twist on her personality and how she could kind of transform into it. 